Okay, let us continue with uh, our third video of uh, MOSFET basics. So here uh, is the same circuit. So we have this dot DC street which is having a variation of uh, two sources, this V2 and V1. So V2 is varied from 0 to 1.2 in steps of uh, 0 0.01, V1 is varied from 0 to 1.2 in steps of 0 0.4. So here we have uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 graphs, so which is uh, the VGS variation. The VGS is varied from 0 to uh, 1.2 volt. So let us uh, uh, do the same thing for uh, different dimensions. Let us make this uh, uh, 200. So which will ensure that now W by L is 20. Now whatever current we have, so we are going to double now. So we have a current of, uh, let me just go to this uh, current at it is maximum now it is now it is 640 so let me now simulate this simulating the current is for the value of so let me simulate this and then 1.28 milliampere is the current uh, when the VGS is 1.2 volts and the VDS is 1 volt. So we can have a uh, still more family of curves. So let me just move this dot DC command. Uh, uh, now let me vary the voltage of uh, second source instead of in, 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 instead of 0 0.4. Let me make it a 0 0.2 so that now I'll have uh, many more number of uh, uh, different VDS values. Let me run it now. I can see we have uh, different lines. So this is uh, for 1.2, this is so this is for 1.2, this is for 1, this is for 0.8, this is for 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.20. So for 0 0.2 and 0.4 volts, the current is almost 0. So 0 0.6, so 0 0.8, this is for 1 volt, this is for 1.2 volts. So carefully notice the increment of your ID is not linearly, it is quadratically varying. So it is due to the expression of your ID where the value of VGS, as the value of VGS changes, the value of ID quadratically varies. So that's why you can see this uh, increment in current is quadratically changing. So this is the increase from point, uh, this is from point 0.8 to 1 volt, this is from 1 to uh, 1.2 volts, the current increment is quadratically varying. So this is about uh, the variation of ID for different values of so VGS when you change the value between the source voltage. Now we shall uh, go back to our slides and see one more variation. Now this is uh, known as channel link modulation as the channel uh, pinch off happens. So, if you further increase the value of VDS, so this the channel length, effective length will go to reduce. So, naturally, when the uh, effective length of the channel reduces, the current has to slightly increase. So, this dotted line happens to be the uh, saturated current under the ideal condition where the channel length remains constant, but uh, typically the channel length is keep varying. So, that is accommodated in the equation in the form of lambda so now the current is not constant once it enters the saturation region so we have the variation in the current as the value of vds changes even in the saturation region so that is accounted in the equation in the form of this lambda into vds so we can uh, have the effect of this channel length modulation in the simulation also for that we have to make the changes in the uh, so let me go back to simulation and then change this parameter settings. So in this dot model parameter, let me also include one more parameter by name lambda. L -A -M -D -A. So lambda let it be equal to 0 0.1. So the unit of uh, lambda is volt inverse. So no need to press the unit. So now it is so that 0. 1 volt inverse. Now let me save this and 
if I run this, okay, let me just uh, do it for a particular gate voltage. So let me not change this gate voltage. Let me uh, delete this. Let me have it for only a particular. So now this is done. Now let me have this is pointed now. The MOSFET is operating in operating with VDS is equal to 0 0.8 volt and VDS is equal to 0 to 1.2 volts. So let me run this now. Now let me change this to V2 now. So because this has to be the same voltage. So let me just change this and now let me run this. So on running now we can see the current is not constant. Now this is uh, let me change the number of uh, the increment let it make it very small. So now it is let me make it 0 0.01. Now we get a smooth curve. And the curve is smooth enough so that you can see the radius. So if you carefully observe this variation, the current is not constant. So if, if, if you actually see this variation the current is keep increasing so that's what we saw in the slide so we saw the current is increasing the current is increasing goes here the current is increasing here so one thing to observe in these two uh, graphs is that as the channel length reduces uh, this is l1 is the least channel length this is slightly larger this channel length modulation is uh, clearly observed only for a small okay, short channel uh, MOSFETs for long channel MOSFETs so we will not see much of the variation so that is being represented with the value of lambda is equal to 0.1 or 0.2 or maybe 0.01 so the MOSFETs of uh, larger dimension will have a smaller value of lambda the MOSFETs with lesser dimension will have larger value of lambda so here we have taken it as 0.1 so you can see now this is variation the variation is too much so what i'll do is i'll just make it uh, 0 0.01 now this is uh, mainly for a long channel devices where the value of lambda is small if i run it now now it is fairly constant but it is still there is a small variation suppose if i just move from here to here this is not the same the currents are not same you can see there is a uh, rd2 microamperes of difference when lambda is equal to 0 0.01 so we just do it for lambda is equal to 0 0.1 it is make out the difference in the current so now let me make it 0 0.1 if i run it now the difference in current is almost uh, 20 milliampere, 20 microamperes. So for, for the same uh, VDS variation, now you can see it is 355, other is uh, 335. The variation is almost 20 microamperes. In the previous case, it was hardly 2 microamperes. So let me make the value of lambda 0. So let us just uh, repeat this simulation with the value of lambda 0. Now, what we are expecting? Now we are expecting no change in the current. See now this is exactly the same. So it is 320 microampere, where of it is 320 microampere. So it is purely because, so as you can see in the uh, equation, so we have this lambda coming into picture, which will affect your ID value as the value of lambda changes. So the ID also changes. So this is uh, when the channel is having the channel link modulation that effect you can feel it. For an ideal MOSFET, the expression for the drain current in saturation region doesn't have a lambda. So that's why it is a constant current as we saw in the simulation. So in this simulation, if lambda is equal to zero, that is there is this is an ideal diode with no variation in the current, a constant current. If lambda is uh, smaller, it's a long channel. If the lambda value is more, it's a short channel devices. Devices. So this is the basics of the MOSFET. So as we see here, so 
so as the voltage uh, of your gate is more than threshold voltage we are seeing uh, it's operating in a linear region or the saturation region depending on what is the uh, vds so we shall also see how does uh, the vd uh, the id versus vgs will vary so let me just uh, make this source as v1 so this is the transfer characteristics so let me just have a look at this so this is the transfer characteristics so this is the variation of the device so as you can see now th this this current variation is quadratically changing this is not a linear gap so it is quadratically changing so as, as you increase this voltage from uh, maybe a larger value maybe 3 volt or 4 volts now you can see it is so it is quadratically changing so this is not a linear variation so that's how we can see this uh, two characteristics one is uh, transfer characteristics the other one is the output characteristics so that's what we saw in this slide so in this slide we have seen two characteristics one is corresponding to so this is what we saw here so this is the id versus uh, vgs so this is uh, the other one is id versus this is id versus vgs so you can see two characteristics one is the transfer characteristics other is the output characteristics so this way the key thing what you are supposed to keep in mind is so whenever you take any uh, MOSFET the terminal which is close to the gate happens to be the uh, source the other one is uh, drain so this is the bulk so bulk is usually connected to source to have the body bias voltage body bias effect as zero and this dot model nmos nmos is the keyword and kp corresponds to mu n into cox vt is nothing but vth lambda will go on to accommodate the channel length modulation and uh, this is vgs this is vds and we are doing a dc sweep because i want to see the output uh, or the variation of the drain current as per the variation of the voltage it is neither dot tran or the dot ac we are doing because we are not seeing anything with respect to time since it is with respect to the voltage so we are doing dot dc so we shall see in the coming videos the mosfet as an amplifier so how to bias a amplifier how the uh, mosfet and how does an amplifier we want to amplify the small signal voltages